Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the most efficient overclocks for Ironfish on every 30 series GPU. Just in case you haven't seen it before, this is my test rig. It has almost every 30 series card on it, no 3050, so I'm sorry, and a couple RTX workstation cards, all powered by three server power supplies and an ATX power supply. It is a monster of a rig. So in this video, we're gonna do Ironfish, which you can stop right here if you've been doing Caspa or Radiant because it uses the same overclocks. It is a Blake 3 algorithm, which means it's core intensive. You don't need any memory. And if you're trying to figure out what the heck I'm talking about, stay tuned because I'll walk you through how to do everything in this video. So. Let's take a look right away at the results. This is gonna blind you, so I'm sorry in advance. Here it is. This is all the results that I've gotten as of making this video right now. Results may change over time as new miners come out, but this is everything I got, and this is using the latest Riggle, Rigel, Rigel, I don't know how to say it, miner, which seems to be the best right now as of today, which was mainnet launch for Ironfish. So you can see settings I'm using right away for all these cards. I have the lock core clock that you can see right here, which is just for me, the most efficient that I could get the GPU. Good starting place, it seems for most 30 series cards is to start around 1500 on the lock on the core, and then you can adjust up and down plus minus by increments of 15 to just find what is most efficient for you. Uh, and also, maybe efficiency is not what you're trying to do, and you just want to get the most hash possible, and you're not really worried about power. That's okay, too, but that's not what I'm talking about in this video. So, stay tuned. We're going to keep going here. From there, next thing I do is I have the memory locked at 810 because this algorithm isn't using any memory, so it reduces the power usage dramatically by locking the memory down 810. I'll show you how to do that with the miner in a second. And then the other thing that reduces the power quite a bit is doing a core offset, which for this, I have 360, which applies to every card, and that further reduces the power that the cards are using. And this, like I said, this is very similar if you've done Caspa, if you've been doing Radiant, uh, and a little bit like um, Nexa as well. Just Nexa uses a little bit more memory. So if you've been mining on those, this shouldn't be new to you. This is pretty similar. I'm using the same uh, settings exactly that I'm using on Radiant and Caspa on all of these GPUs. So let's take a look into Hive OS and we'll see how to set all this up so you can get off and mining. So the first thing that's a little weird is you can see this is that uh, machine right now in Hive OS. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And what's happening here is the miner is just not communicating well with Hive. So you can see only a few of the GPUs are actually picking up accurately the amount of hash rate they're doing, all the wattage and everything is just fine. And just to show you the miner, here it is. This is the latest, again, as of making this video. I know it's really, really small, so please depend on the spreadsheet that I showed you earlier. It's just having issues redrawing in this window. I've tried everything for the sake of this video, but those are all the results that you can see right here. If you need to pause, zoom in. If you don't believe me, there they are. But again, just depend if you need them on this sheet. This sheet's got everything, hopefully nice and big so you can see it. So we should also talk about, there's a few different mining softwares that you can use, and then we're gonna get into the one I'm using. I'll show you how to set it up in Hive. So here's the one I'm using, Rigel. I'm gonna say it 10 different ways in this video, it's fine. 143, that's what I'm using right now. I tried Lull Miner, the latest there. I tried BZ Miner first, uh, and then there is SRB Miner, which I have not tried but this was uh, available as well for NVIDIA to mine this new Blake 3 Ironfish algorithm. So I did do all the testing on all the other ones. Here they are. This is BZ Miner up here. This is Law Miner here. But again, the best efficiency and performance I've gotten is on Rigel, Rigel, Rigel Miner, uh, the latest one on that. So. Let's see how you set that up uh, over in HiveOS. Depending on when you watch this video, it might be available in HiveOS already, or you're gonna have to download it either as a custom package or just do uh, a replace with the latest one. I'm not gonna go over that in the video. You can find that on the internet or in many discords. But 
Let's go over to the flight sheet. Take a look there. So you can see this is my Ironfish flight sheet that I have available. And all I had to do is in the extra configuration arguments for the miner is just lock the, I'm sorry, offset the core clock by 360, which you can see right there. And then lock the memory clock at 810, which you can see right there. And that's, that's it. That's all I had to do in there. And then what I can do is go over to HiveOS itself to the overclocking section. And in this case, I can set my core locks here, which just kind of like as always, as we've always done it for NVIDIA, even going back to Ethereum days, you can just set your lock core clock there. It will apply. Don't set anything else in here. Just leave memory at zero. Uh, and then everything else gets taken care of right in the miners configuration arguments itself. And then that's it. And you're up and mining and taking a look at your results. And what you should be looking for with the core offset uh, and the memory down to 810, which you can see that memory right here is very low power usage for the amount of hash rate that you can get out of these cards. That's pretty much it though, that guys, that's the approach. Let's take a look at maybe what some of the best cards are uh, for mining Ironfish on this algorithm right now. And you can see coming in, looking at my efficiency column right here, the th A4000, A4000 is the most efficient card mining this algorithm followed up right behind by a 3070, which is great. And then uh, also the 3090 Ti continues to surprise me on all of these algorithms for just how low the power usage can be for the amount of, in this case, giga hash per second I'm able to get out of that card coming in power-wise really, really low. But all these cards looking really good. 3080, 12 gigabyte continues to be a disaster of a GPU, um, but everything else is looking is looking really good. So that's it, quick video, just to get you guys up and running. I like showing you what my results are, so it just gives you kind of a jumping off point. Again, this is the most efficient, which may not be your goal. Your goal may be to get the most coin as possible right now, and you might be running your GPUs at max capacity to get the most hash rate. That's not what I'm doing, and that's totally okay. Again, every GPU is a little bit different, so even a 3070 versus another 3070, Based on silicon lottery, the chip inside that GPU, it may run different overclocks. You may run more or less power or more or less hash. Just depends on your specific GPU. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll also leave the pin comment if anything changes, minor updates come out that impact what you saw in this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel for more GPU, FPGA, and ASIC mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. Links down in the description along with all my social media links. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.